In this video, I'll be doing a rundown of the Linux distros I've reviewed so far in 2013. So this is just the first quarter of the year from January through to the end of March. So in equal sixth place, we have Pardes Corporate 2013. So despite it being entirely in Turkish, which made it impossible for me to understand, it really did not look a bad KDE distro. It had a fairly nice theme to KDE and some nice custom icons. In equal sixth place, we have Crunchbang. It's Debian-based open box distro that has uh, a very dark theme to it. It's a very minimalistic distro. You pretty much set up how you want to. It was particularly slow to run. Now I was looking at it in VirtualBox. However, I did get a couple of comments from people who did say, well, actually, yes, it is quite slow for what it is. So finally, also in equal sixth place, <laughs> had a lot of scores at 70% here, we have Tails 0.16. This was just a live CD distro for getting you on a Tor encrypted internet. It did have a few issues like it being quite slow, but then it was a live CD. But other than that, it was a good way to get onto the Tor network pretty easily. In fifth place, we have Gentoo. Now, this, this was a purely theoretical review that I said I would give it about 75%. I just wanted to show that if you consider the difficulty in installing the distro versus the fact you've actually got a pretty damn fast running distro and a rolling release. So it's just something to balance off there. In fourth place, we have Fedora 18, first RPM based distro I reviewed. I think more of my issues with the distro were the GNOME 3.6 desktop. The base of it seemed perfectly fine to use though. Now into the top three, well actually in equal third place, we have Sparky Linux 2.1 Ultra Edition. This was a Debian based distro from Poland. Once you got past the difficult installer and rather dull desktop, it actually was an extremely fast distro, probably one of the fastest Debian-based distros that I've seen. They gave you a reasonable amount of applications to get going. Once you change the theme, you've actually got a very nice, fast distro there. Also in equal third place, got Pear Linux 6.1. Perhaps a bit unfair to give the review on this now, there's actually been a couple of newer versions of Pear released. My complaints with this distro were that it had some chinglish on some of the applications just their choice of applications. They could have used the Ubuntu based ones there instead of going for the Depin or Deepin applications. Other than that, you've got a Mac style distro. It's a fairly blank canvas for you to install what you want on. In second place, we have Peppermint OS 3. This is more of a distro to use as a dual booting, be it whether with Windows or another Linux distro. Its purpose is to get you on the internet as fast as possible, and it works with more internet based applications. However, they're all Google related, which is fine if you have a Google account, but not so good if you don't. And in first place, drum roll here please, we have OpenSUSE at 12.3, we have 85%. I really liked the styling they've done in KDE. In my opinion, it is the best styled KDE distro available. I also liked the YAST administration tool that made it very easy to configure the system. So despite the fact I was a newbie, to OpenSUSE, pretty much a newbie to RPM distros, I really didn't have that much trouble using OpenSUSE. In fact, if Ubuntu wasn't around, I would be torn between OpenSUSE or Debian for my choice of distro. So there you are, quite a few selections of distros that I've reviewed this year. But let's think, coming up very soon, we have the Ubuntu 13.04 being released, that's at the end of April, so literally only a few days away from me doing this video. I've been quite impressed with how it's running so far. They've done a lot of improvements from the older releases and made it a lot better now for gaming. And of course, with the release of Ubuntu 13.04, we also have Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, and probably the GNOME remix of Ubuntu as well. And there will also be a new release of Mint. Pretty sure I will not be slating it like I did its previous release. And boy, did I half get some abuse for that. <laughs> no, they've chosen a much better base this time. Well, Ubuntu 13.04 is a much better base now. I will be looking forward to seeing that in action. So there we are, that's my distros that I've reviewed so far in 2013. So thanks for watching, see you later.